Welcome to the 73rd episode of Pixelmon. I really hope that this is the 73rd episode, otherwise it would be kind of awkward because I messed up on the intro already. But I'm on a server called mvblock.org. That's going to be the server IP. If you'd like to join us, feel free to do so. All you're going to have to do is just download Pixelmon 3.4.0 thus far, and as well as you're going to have to have the Forge Mod version of 1.7.10. That's for ending numbers and 1230. So feel free to join us. Just respect the rules, the players, the moderators, the staff, and every Everyone that's in the server in itself and as well as that do not grief do not steal do not raid do not x-ray and of course do not swear this is a g-rated server so we want to keep it clean here so feel free to join us we have mini games we have tournaments gym leaders active staff active people and all it is is just survival in a world of pixelmon and a minecraft server with a great community and you can just build and do whatever the things that you want to do that's regarding with the server aspect or the survival aspect as well as we do have MC MMO, so you could get some levels and get some perks along with those levels. So it's very fun, feel free to join us. And in this episode, well, that I actually caught another meal off camp. Meal? <laughs> I said meal. <laughs> okay, I'm just already going off with a good start here. I caught another meal on camp. Well, not on camera, of course. Off camera. It seems like every single time when I actually want to record, there's a legendary that just spawns right there. And I'm like, God dang it all. Why can't I always try to record before it happens? <laughs> it's just one of those things. But it does give me in a bright mood because I got a Mew. And I did promise Sabrina to actually trade Sabrina the Mew because that we are sharing the area where a Mew would spawn. So, with that, I did say that if I find another Mew, I'm going to give you that Mew and I'm going to keep my promise to that. So, let me go ahead and go to spawn. And Sabrina meet at spawn. And also you probably noticed that the A rank is actually gone. It's not because I'm not an advertiser anymore. It is because that DG was actually messing with ranks earlier. So what's going to happen that he probably will bring it back. He's just messing up with the ranks because we are working on another server that he wants to bring back. So once it's here, you guys will know about it. Or I can actually talk to you guys behind the scenes if you guys are interested in. Probably give up to another hype at least. Or that we could work on something with it. Just give ideas or anything along the matters of that. I just got to actually have to talk to DG about that. And I accidentally double clicked on the machine. So that actually caused me to crash. So it's going to happen people. Be careful with that. Do not double click on the machines. But my mouse since it's been used so much. It actually does that on its own. So let's go ahead and trade. And I'm going to give you the Mew. The Mew that I promised to give you. Here's the Mew. Okay, oh, you're going to trade me a wonderful Caterpie for that. Well, here you go. That is your wonderful, wonderful Mew. So, let me go ahead and show you guys what my PC looks like so far. Okay, let's go look at it. It's a little bit organized. It's a little bit more organized than it was last time. So, you got to give me credit for that. Just, I'm running out of room again. So, I'm just clogging up more of the PCs. But mostly, a lot of it's already in numerical order. You already see that there's a lot of doubles and all that good stuff. It's because they have good sizes. Like this one's enormous. And this Pidgeotto, it's enormous. Then with this PG, it is huge. So I'm just keeping track of what the sizes are at because I want to get the huge, giant, and enormous size Pokemon because I just want the aesthetic look. I don't want the pygmy, small, or micro. People actually go for that. That is their deal. But what I go for, I go for the bigger Pokemon right there. I don't know. It's just... It feels like it's a tower Pokemon against something that's so small and just beats them up right there. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But hey, it gives me something more of a side goal to accomplish. Like this enormous Atkins rather than this giant Atkins. But they're still both very huge at that point too. They got the Pikachus. Got all the other stuff. I got the 31 IV Growlips I'm going to have to try to trade off. And all the other good Pokemon. I got a Suicune from Fall Down. Or is it Downfall? I think it was Downfall. I think Downfall was the mini game that you have to try to get to the bottom floor. And I got a sweet coon out of that. Got Vulpixes, Jigglypuffs, all the wonderful, wonderful Pokemon. Two enormous Diglets. One is male, one is female. Oh, nope, they're both female. Okay. Meowths. We got Psyduck, Golduck. Everything is mostly in order. You probably will see it out, out of touch Pokemon. Like this one, for instance. That this is the giant Slowpoke that I'm going to be making into a Slow King. So there's that right there. Then got the do duos, all that wonderful, wonderful Pokemon that I try to keep in order. And then box number four is a little bit mixed up right now. I got a Hypnon on top. Oh yeah, I captured Hypnon on top in a while ago. Ah, somebody hit me. Who hit me? Oh, nope, is he hit me with a freaking <laughs> he hit me with the fishing rod. Because you're able to do that. It won't damage you, it won't hurt you much, but it will happen. 
Okay, then box number five is a little bit more spacious because I need to fill that up. Got a sand slash earlier from Oigland. Oigland, as if that's how you pronounce it, Oigland, <laughs> O-I-G-L-A-N-D. Or we could call you Land because you did say that. So Land actually gave me a lot of Pokemon to trade off. A huge Oddish, this huge sand slash. What other ones that are huge? I'm trying to remember, but I will trade Pokemon if they're larger size than my own Pokemon. I would trade them the substitute, like, you know, shiny Shinx for shiny Shinx, and then 1K because it's a higher uh, size difference right here. Look at that. This one was huge. I traded or ordinary to Caterpie to actually get the huge Shinx, and I gave them 1K over that too. So I am really generous with the offers because I really want to collect all the Pokemon. Here's just so empty. I'm missing a Jinx. I'm miss missing an Omni, Kabuto, Kabutops. Missing a Dragonair, an Articuno. I got a lot of Pokemon to actually fill up. There's a shiny Zapdos right there, and there's a shiny Ditto right there too. So, a lot of Pokemon, I have a lot of doubles, I'm going to try to get rid of them, like, try to trade a Totodile for a Totodile and all that good stuff, so that's why I'm mainly keeping a lot of the Pokemon, so I at least could replace the Pokemon that they had previously. So it's going to take me a while, this series is all about me trying to get every single Pokemon shiny, level 100, and good sizes, so with that, that's just giving me something to do, especially when it's never going to end type of deal, because... Pixelmon is always updating. Right now, we are not currently in Pixelmon 4.0. It's because there's a lot of bugs that goes on with 4.0. So we're waiting for a stable last uh, stabler. Is that how you say it? Is that even a word? Stabler? I don't even think so. A more stable update, I should say. A more stable update so that we don't crash all that often. We do not want another 3.3.9 where we couldn't even capture Pokemon because that was a lot of stress for a lot of people. The forums would always be clogged up with all the reports of missing shiny Pokemon that, that should have gone or legendaries that should have captured. And recently I did capture a giant Skarmory that is shiny. It's so beautiful. What else? What else? Any other Pokemon that I should update you guys on? Not too sure. I'm still going to have to get rid of a lot of EVs so I can get more ginormous EVs. I have 31 IVs so I can try to get the perfect EV that's ginormous and make a team out of that. That would be interesting to see. So hopefully in the future that I will be able to organize my PC a little bit more so that it will be more representable. If that's even a real word. But I'm getting a lot of legendaries. I've gotten a few Antes. I've gotten a few Mews. And I have gotten... A f oh, I haven't gotten Raikus in a while. Because somebody already dominated that market. But I know where to get Mews. And I know where to get Antes. So whenever I want to trade those off. Then I will do so. Maybe make them as a prize every now and then. Depending on how many Antes and how many Mews that I get. Also, I did get a Kyogre. Well, that, not that Kyogre. But a different Kyogre. Because of Fallout. A game where you're not supposed to fall. But since uh, we were all in the area for a good amount of time. A Kyogre spawned when it was like I lost the match. Oh wait, no, I didn't even lost, lose the match. I actually was just helping like keep track of who's there and who's not, who's cheating, who's not, all that type of deal. Last one standing always wins. So you always have to have a second person actually monitoring the area where one person actually hosts because they're not able to really move and also look at who's there. So it really helps that two people are helping out each other to see if everyone's playing legitimately. But I digress that after the last match has been hosted, a Kyogre started to spawn and everybody else was already gone from there. I'm like, oh dang, here's a Kyogre. I'm going to get this Kyogre. And the very same day, DG logged on to actually, you know, do server things, you know, his server work. And then he hosted Downfall and I went there and I won Downfall. I won a lot of prizes right there. I got a shiny Omanyte and also I got a Suicune. And then I also got a Shrine Kit. Well, not really a Shrine Kit. It's a set. Let me go check it out. So I got a Frozen Shrine, a Static Shrine, and a Fiery Shrine from that mini game. So whenever I get around to it, I'm going to be making a guide of how to get the orbs and how to use the orbs to actually get to the shrines and then use it on shrines. But here's the thing that shrines are pretty much already claimed. But the purpose for this one is to actually let people know how it is used, what is it used for, how to get it, and how to capture a legendary bird. So whenever, if we do get more shrines in the future, at least they will know of how it all works. And for a person who has never played Pixelmon before and they actually go on to single player and they see these shrines, then it can help them out as well. So it's going to be a guide for multiplayer, single player, and... If you ever get more shrines, then here you go. Here's a guide of how everything is set, done, in place, and then you're good to go. So, let's move on that. I want to get some more money. It is that 
I've been mining a lot. I've been mining a whole lot of ores lately, and now I've been stockpiling them all, and now they're just clogging up my chests. So let me go ahead and go to home, and I'm going to go to my mine. Oh, this wonderful, wonderful tunnel that we've created a long time ago. So there's that deal right there. I just wanted to do something, just something that is just utterly stupid but at the same time kind of useful we were able to get a lot of resources a lot of money out of it and now it's just with the other tunnels i've been making it's gonna help out a lot i'm still not used to the fact that my letters are not blue so if dg logs on anytime soon i want i want to have my text back and as well as i want to have my advertiser rank back it's just weird of how he changed everything but yet he forgot to actually put it back is that with all the letters, it's after the name and not before the name. It was more organized when it was before the name, but I just probably thinking that, or I just probably think grammar here, you guys, grammar here is very, very important. <laughs> just, I hope that he fixes everything like tonight or maybe the next day. I'm not really too much of a hurry, but it's just so unsettling to see that that as a moderator, I don't have my blue text anymore, which it is the thing that sets the moderators like apart from the other people so people can know like hey this guy's speaking blue so he's a moderator so we could actually ask him some questions oh uh, well i just blend in at this point rather than the uh, the whole bolded mod thing but hey it's just one of those other aesthetics that people take to notice after a while you guys understand right so look at all the redstone ore i got one chest two chests and three chests are full of redstone ore let's go ahead and check out the coal two and three then we go to the iron two and almost three so close so close to getting three chests full of iron then i'm gonna have to use all these furnaces it's gonna be nice sweet sweet furnaces so let me go ahead and see what else do I have. Pokeballs. Got all the other stuff with the bauxite ore. So I can make a lot of items with that. Got the bone meal. And here's the interesting fact. Oh, not the bone meal part, but for the bones. Oh no, I got no space. I got no space. Space. Okay, so I need to organize a tad bit. Let me go to PV1 for a second. Put all the stones away. I got a wonderful collection of stones for battling a lot of bosses. Then, let me go ahead and put the ranch upgrade away. Now I can actually have some room and then I'll be able to do the things that I need to do. So, with bone, go over here and then you just crouch and then left click the ground and then you get yourself a spawn wolfie. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so cute. Sit. There you go. Did you just spawn after you sit? I don't know. I know that some people actually have cats and some people have wolfies and they don't actually despawn. So I'm not too sure how that actually works, but hope that you guys don't actually, you know, like despawn because it's sad because you actually hear them die. And I just realized that I forgot to put the music on. How embarrassing. So let me go ahead and put the master volume. You'll be able to hear the doggy bark, I think. Yep, you can hear him bark. Oh, you're so beautiful, Dougie. And I really need to get some background music for a, long, a lot of these videos because it's just mainly just silent quietness. So I need to find some background music. Where can I find some good background music to actually play in these videos? Let me know in the comment section below. So I got some redstone ore right there, got some coal ore right there, and then I got a lot of items right here. So I got a good collection that's gonna help a lot of people out if I want to sell them too. What other items can I put this away in? No, nothing? Okay, okay, fair enough. Then we got Lapis Azuli. Then you got more gold ore right here, so beautiful. And then my prized collection of diamond ore. I want to get a chest full of diamond ore so that I could make them all into diamonds, see how many diamonds I could get, then I'll just sell the blocks individually so people who want to actually get more land, they'll be able to do so. Just sell a block a day and then I'll just get rich. So let's go take a look at Belltop. So, oh, 5,811 users. So let's see who's on the top of the list. Oh, there we go. We got Green Dragon at 188,000. We got Crucifix at 138,000. A Oifi at 112,000. Myself at 109,000. Deadpool at 87,000. Bill and Beck Boys at 83,000. S-Man at 83,000. Harrison at 72,000. I'm not rounding up or rounding down for this one, but if I were to sell up all of my items, I'm probably going to be number two easily. Now the thing is, I really gotta organize everything, so I'll be right back to you guys. 
Okay, so now everything is a little bit clean and the wolf despawned. It actually died, so I didn't want to hear you guys just... Well, wait, I didn't want you guys to hear that. Proper grammar here. I don't want you guys to hear that. It was so sad. It made me sad now. I don't want them to die. But although I could spawn some wolfies, who knows? In the future episodes, would you like to see a wolf just running around in circles behind my back or anything like that? Would you like for me to have a wolf companion as I make these episodes? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, time to sell a lot of my items. Time to become rich. <coughs> Excuse me. So, hey look, Jackie Boy is actually getting some diamonds just for voting. So yeah, voting is a thing. If you would like to vote, all you have to do is just go slash vote. You get your prizes right here that you could actually get. And then you just click on the links, fill out the name and the fill out the captions and all that good stuff. And then you'll be able to vote. You get 1 in 15 chance of getting 5 Pokeballs, 1 in 25 and 10 Diamonds, 1 in 15 and 32 Ultra Balls, 1 in 75 for an XP share, 1 in 80 for an extra $500, 1 in 100 for either a Master Ball or a Random Legendary. And then of course you get the 1 in 300 chance for a rank upgrade. So you don't even have to donate to the server, but if you'd like to, just go to slash donate and choose whatever you want to choose click on it then use your paypal account and then you're good to go you'll help support the server and you get something for it obviously but mainly if you're able to get 100 votes by the end of the month you'll be having a choice of either gaining a free rank upgrade or a free legendary of your choice so you got nothing to lose and a lot more to gain whether if you vote and you're not lucky but you have four chances every single day and all those other chances you could get a prize again you have nothing to lose and a lot more to gain and you'll be able to help out the server so why not vote every single day so that more players are going to be online they can vote more and then the server is going to get more and more popular within each and every day because everybody's taking the time to vote get some prizes and help out the server in the end so in the long run it's going to help the server greatly if you vote every single day for us so let's move on to me getting a lot of money just simply put it i'm going to be selling a lot of redstone ore hey maybe i could actually sell them in the auction for i'm not too sure if i'll be able to do this but if it works and it works so that could probably make a little bit more money on the side so if you were to go to shop all you have to do is go to sell menu then you go to building blocks and then you go right here and you can sell the redstone ore for two dollars per stone of course soak touch with the stone you get a lot of money out of it and you've seen in the older episodes of how much tunnel tunneling i've done in the past so it's gonna be worth it in the end look at how much wonderful money you can get Whew, that's a lot right there. It's already filling up and I already got a lot of money out of that. Although I hate, absolutely hate seeing the, what's it called, uneven number like that. Because you just can't get rid of it. It clogs up a lot of space. So I'm able to get $26 out of that one. Now for another batch of redstone ore. So if you really want to make a lot of money, this is how you make a lot of money. And just make sure you kind of tell them that this is what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to have high suspicion of how much money you're getting. But since I'm already filming this, they could actually just look at the video in itself. So they'll know how much or how I'm getting all this money just rather rapidly. I've shown this before in a few videos, but at least I'll have some video proof of how I've been getting a lot of money lately. <laughs> So, yeah, if they don't believe me, then I can just show them all the tunnels I've made, all the skylights I've made, and then the tunnel I'm working on currently. So that in itself would be proof enough of how I've been getting all of these resources. There are some people who actually, like, what's it called, manipulated the economy at one point, where they got banned from that as well. So it is highly suspicious because with a lot of money, you kind of do have a impression or... What's it called? Influence of what, of how much uh, something could actually cost. Like whenever I buy shiny, everyone knows that shinies are not that expensive to actually get or sell in general. But I always pay $1,000 just because if it's a shiny that I don't have, I want to be able to help them out. And with that money, you'll be able to buy some rare candies or other items that you may want to use. So having a lot of money does influence a lot in the game. Although we do have a stable economy, it's that it's depending on the price that you actually place onto an item. Of course, if people want to buy it for that price, let it be so. If not, then there is that. Of course, if something is a ripoff, I will call out on that, especially if it's a master ball, because you're able to be buying... Ah, I cannot talk correctly in grammar-wise. You're able to buy a master ball from the shop for $350 right off the bat. So if anyone actually tries to sell a master ball for higher than that, I'll just say, hey, dude, you can just buy from a shop for $350. Don't go to higher price than that when anyone could actually buy it off right then and there. 
in the case for me of selling diamond blocks for $100 is that you can either spend $100 for getting a diamond block or you can spend $270 for buying the nine diamonds off of the shop. So I'm helping you save $170 in the long run. So again, supply and demand. And look at Ronin selling 1,920 stone for $1. If you were to buy that and sell the stone off of the shop, you'd be getting a lot of money. But he's helping other people out getting money, so I respect him for that. I'm not going to be the person who's going to buy that and then just sell the stone myself. I'll get my own stone. You've seen the tunnels, so I have no need for that. Now time to sell more of this. So let me go to bidding, building blocks. How much coal ore sells for? One dollar. One dollar per block. So if I were to sell the coal ore for a good fifty dollars, you'll save a person fourteen dollars. If more people want to bid on that, then at least I'll be able to make my profit from there. So selling all of the redstone ore. Three chests full of redstone ore. Well, is my oh no, my house core is not there. So remember that I said that I had a hundred and nine thousand dollars. So let's go check out Bell Top again. Balancing the users of 5,811 players. So I'm at 130,000 right off the bat. I already beat a Oifi in that. And now I got back up to 130,000. So I got a lot of resources that I could actually be making and get more money. So one of my other side goals is that I really wanted to get to Battle Top 1. Just being number one on the Battle Top. Because reasons that, hey, I got all this money. And now I'm on a high score for that amount of money. Maybe I should try to go for 1 million. I don't even know if their server is going to last up to 1 million because whenever there's a brand new update that we have to actually switch servers for, then it's just another reset. Although, again, I'm going to be keeping my Pokemon. I'm going to be very happy about that. So all is well. Just a lot of resources right here. So let me see if I can actually auction off Coal Ore for $50. $50 for a stack. Wait, yeah, yep, that's how you do it. Yeah! Let's see if anyone will actually bid on this. Do I hear 50, whoa, wait, yeah, $50. Do I hear $50, people? Do I, do I, anyone, anyone gonna bid? No one, okay. I guess that people don't want any coal, but that's fine, it's fine. If people don't wanna buy it, they don't wanna buy it, I'll just sell all the coal that I have. Cause I kinda have no use for coal. I already got a lot of furnaces, so if I want more coal, I'll find more coal. It was a, it was a pain to actually get all those coal. Seriously, such a pain. Then we got over here. Nope, nobody wanted to buy it. Sad face. Well, at least I'll be able to get an extra $3,000 just from selling all this coal. 3400 Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing the math wrong. I'm an idiot. Wait, no, it's correct. Yeah, 3456 blocks in a chest. So I'm getting an extra $3,000 just for doing this. My god, coal is so, it's absolutely cheap, honestly. But if I want to get more coal, then I'll just go to the mines and get more coal. It's not a big problem to me, because I have no use for it. Nobody else wanted to use it either, so it's all fine and handy dandy. Now to selling more of this wonderful coal. At least with the iron, I'll be able to make a little bit more money because that I've been smelting a lot, and as well as I've been repairing a lot, but since that DG actually took the, the away the... Super breaker. I'm not able to actually repair of my, repair my diamond tools anymore. So for me to get levels in repairing, it's quite near impossible. Unless if I were to use regular diamond pickaxes, it's just more of an annoying hazard or what's it called? A hassle. There you go. A, a little bit of an annoying hassle to actually go through all that because it's so slow. Even with haste too, with a beacon. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of that. So, I don't know what how else I could actually be repairing any of my tools, unless it would be iron, because with iron, I could just enchant the iron pickaxes, be a little bit quick with that, or that I could possibly do something else. Huh. The more I think about it, the more that I could possibly work on that. So let me go check out my repair levels. Of course, if you were to smell iron, you'll get some repair levels too. I'm at 196 and repairing. So close to 200. Wow. At least with a repair mastery, I get 39.20%. And then if I were to go to smelting, well, let me go to my mining level. So with mining, there it is at 1,858. A lot, really a lot. Double chance ore drops every single block that I mine up. So any block, whether it be from stone to diamond, it's going to be doubled. So if you want to get that, get to level 1,000 in mining. So enjoy mining if you are the person that loves mining, such as I. So let's go to smelting. So this is where it actually makes it worth it if you get repair repair levels and mining levels. So I'm currently at 598. So with that, 
it'll be right here, right here. Fuel efficiency, increase the burn time of fuel used in furnaces when smelting. Double smelt. Double the resources gained from smelting. And then you got the flux mining, and then you got the vanilla boost, which is just not that really great. But here, this is where it all counts, because with every level, is another 0.1 or 0.10% of the efficiency or the actual chance. So second smelt chance, almost at 60%. So if I were to head it at 1,000, then every ore that I smelt would be doubled. But at least it's at more than 6 or more than half percent, more than 50%, half half full, half empty. <laughs> so just, it's almost at 60%. So in every one in, I don't even know the probability actually i'm just gonna stop talking right now so if i were to put 32 ores into it then you're gonna get more ores out of it let's just say that i usually get around from 40 up to i would say 57 at most at this current point so i get an extra nearly 15 or nearly 10 plus bars every single time when i actually do smell so it's really, really worth it in the end very worth it so let me see here, we got more coals to sell, selling all these coals, get myself a little bit more money on the side. Where are you buddies? Then I'm gonna sell all of that wonderful, wonderful coal. Almost done guys, almost done selling all this magnificent, magnificent resources. Up, up, okay, over here, iron, 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 balls, then you got bauxite, bones, more coal, yeah! What's in here? Nothing in here. Gunpowder. Okay. So shop. Go to sell. Again, this is a great way to make money. So for those who want to know, that's all you got to do. You got to shift and left click to actually sell the stack full. But be careful not going to the buy menu because I've done that several times. I've actually spent 5000 on worthless items because I was trying to sell them. And by mistake, I was buying them. Yeah, not a good deal. Then go over here, get all of my other coals and redstone diamonds iron lapis gold just clear that out of the way so gotta get rid of this and up here gotta get rid of that down here oh another stack full almost there oh my god i didn't mean to do that so touch yeah now where else i know i messed up somewhere nope nope right up there we go emerald and Okay, no no bauxite. I didn't find any bauxite. That's a surprise. But once I get three chests full of iron, then I'm going to be smelting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So I'm probably going to be smelting all the items. And let's see how much I could actually get from that. Because it is a great money maker. And I'm going to show you how to make even more money when you actually get a lot of iron. Some people already know about it. Some people don't know about it. But I'm going to show you how you could actually do it legitimately. It just takes a little bit of work. And... Or if you're the type of person who likes to merch in a lot of things, then you could do that as well. But in any case, time to sell the last bit of the coal and also the redstone because I have no use for redstone. I don't use redstone at all. So got to get rid of all that and then sell all the coal ore. Sell it all. Okay, time to rapidly click. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, and it's done. And spawn a wolfie. A little goofy. Although you only have six minutes to live, but that's already enough time for the end of the video anyways. So shout outs to everybody that's on the server right now. I got myself. Then we got XX La XX. I don't know how to say that. Rooster Roo 2004. Hazard. Ah, Hazard. Hazard. I can never pronounce your name correctly. He's on his alternate right now. Then we got Legador, Sir Horus1129, or Sabrina, Mob Killer 2014, Earth to Windy. I would, I would have thought it would be Wendy. Okay. And these darn jet planes flying overhead. Or is that an airplane? Can't tell the difference. Oh, I think I can actually. That should be a regular airplane. I don't even know. I've lived here long enough and you just learn to ignore it at times. Okay. Rocky Camo Dude. Wolf King 098. Or 098. Sorry, I say Sword King 090. I had to say Wolf King 098. Otherwise then, yeah. Not going to go well with me. Then we got Caterpie, Captain Blacksmith, sorry, Captain Blacksmith, I, you need an H, AF1 Blue Gray, Scuba Diver 123, oh, there's another number, but I can't see it, 00 Ronin, or 00 Ronin, or Deadpool, obviously, with the face right there, XX Kitty Lover 15XX, Ah, oh, little doggy, you came back to me, 
Jezu2203, GTLO Orbital, Harrison. There you can see Hazeld and Harrison, obviously. Swaggy Turtle, Unique Girl, Pred the Kid MC, and Wolf Assassin, Ender Dragoon23, Chris Gomez03, Axe Master T. So that is all the people who are online right now, so that is all I could say. I got a lot of money, gave Sabrina the mirror that I promised, and now I showed you guys my PC a little bit more organized. I need to organize more. I got to mine more. I got to do a lot of stuff more. I got some plans to do in the future. But until then, this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. And again, if you guys have any places where I could probably get some royalty-free music that I could use in the background of these videos, let me know in the comment section below so that it's going to be easier on me and easier on everybody else. But until then, have a great day, everyone. Well, let me go ahead and get my bow because I did say that I want to use this for my intros. Our outros, however you want to pronounce it. Have a great day, everyone. I'm Sir Kane090, and as always, I will see you in the next video.